But for purpose of drawing, we use a black pen. And uh, for your level, it will be good for you to use a pencil. Huh? But at my level, I don't need a pencil. I need a pen. The reason is because for you to be able to use a pen, you must have gotten to the professional level. You must have gone to what? The professional, professional level. level. You must have mastered the field. So if I pick my pen now, which I believe that uh, before the, this particular program is over, I'm going to try to see how I will use the pen to make some representation. The usage of the pen is for only one who have got into a professional level. One who have got to a professional level hardly make mistakes when drawing. But I know by the time we start drawing now, some of you will clean and clean until the paper will get torn. Because you are trying to draw it this way, it's going this way. You are trying to go this way, the pencil is going like this, you begin to fight the pencil. And it's not the fault of the pencil, it's your fault. It's the direction you send the pencil that the pencil is going to. So that's why at your level, you can't use the pen, but you use the pencil so that if there's any error, you do what? You clean it. That's why, you see, when I, uh, if I'm giving you the, when I give you the materials, I didn't put eraser there because you don't, in drawing, we don't include eraser as our material for drawing. Yes. Yes. Because when you are drawing, it's expected that you are supposed to look at what you are drawing, be able to get the form of what you are drawing before you begin to represent it on paper. So you are not supposed to make that mistake. We, in, in, in senior classes, when I teach fine art in senior classes like um, GS3, SS1, SS2, SS3. You can't use eraser in the class. I will not allow that. Because when you have eraser beside you, it gives you that mentality that you always make what? Mistakes. Isn't it? I, I, I learned that from my kids at home. That I, that I, uh, the, the pre -nursery. You see that when there is eraser beside them, they make so many mistakes. They always want to clean. Because they enjoy using eraser. Some of you here love using eraser very well. You like to clean very well. You enjoy it when you clean. So, but I discovered that anytime I take the eraser from them. And I tell them, I'm not giving you this eraser. So if you make any mistake, you are in trouble. They will not make mistakes. So we discourage using of eraser in senior class. But not at your level now. Okay, so let's go on. We have looked at the meaning of drawing. Materials. I think I will stop here. Materials for drawing. One. Cardboard sheet. It has to be white. Though in advanced classes, we can also use black cardboard sheet. Okay? We can use black cardboard sheet and then use uh, a pastel, which is like chalk, to draw on the black cardboard sheet. But for your level, cardboard sheet white, plain sheet. Of course, your pencil. Pencils, more than one, because of the grades of pencil. Pencils are graded into various tones. Now let me have your own. You have, this is 3B. This is 3B. This is 2B. And HB. Okay? Now. Let's go this way. We have various grades of pencils. It begins from HB, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 
seven B eight H. Yes, not eight, not eight, uh, eight B, but eight H for the eighth grade of pencil. All these pencils, they are. The reason for these figures is the grades of the tones. You see, as the grade goes, it gets darker. By the time we'll be looking at different types of tones, then you understand why the pencils are like this. Amongst all pencils, the HB is the lightest of all. It's lighter. Even now, if you make a line with HB and make a line with 2B, you see that the 2B is darker than the HB. And that is how it goes. They are in tones. They are getting darker as they go. So, um, cardboard sheet, white, plain sheet, pencils. Uh, okay, no, don't worry. Thank you very much. Then, yes, even in, let me add this, because it's very important also. We also have um, drawing board. Yes, drawing board is also, drawing board. It's also a material. The yes, drawing board is also a material. Then there's also what you call a donkey. But this donkey here is not an animal. Hmm? This donkey is not an animal. But probably uh, they use the word donkey because it looks like it wants to be like an animal because it has four legs, it has a long neck, and so somehow maybe that's why they call it donkey. But the donkey actually is a kind of wooden, uh, a, a wooden bench. It's a kind of wooden bench that the artist who wants to draw sits down to draw. Have you ever seen it before? It's a kind of wooden bench. The artist sits down to draw. Okay, let me make a sketch of a donkey. Have you written this? Yes. You have to sketch it in your notes too. Sketch this one in your notes, not in your not on your drawing sheet, but sketch this on your notes. What I want to do now, you write you sketch it on your notes. Yes, with pencil. You can't use biro now. Ah, you want to use biro at your level? Use the HB. Donkey, you don't have HB, use any pencil you have, don't worry. It's a wooden bench. Uh, they want to for they should write this and then they are going to draw this donkey with the pencil. It's a wooden bench which An artist sits on to draw. Ideally, in a professional setting, you are not supposed to be sitting on top of this desk to draw if it were to be in a studio because that's what we call art studio. Okay? I know that first class will definitely get to that level because we are moving very fast. First class is growing very fast. And I know we'll get to a time where we have what is called the art studio. Okay, in the art studio, what you have there is donkeys because that is where you sit down to draw. Okay, that particular uh, object is known as a donkey. So let's see how we can make a sketch of it.